So what I'm doing here now is I'm uh, disconnecting the bolts that hold the uh, the torque converter to the flywheel. Okay, and what I had to do was I had to take the pan off again because you remember I took some of these bearing caps off, and what I was finding was when I went to turn it, I uh, couldn't couldn't turn it. It was coming up against the, those connecting rods that were disconnected. So what I did was I both uh, two of the pistons are up far enough not to be any problem because they're going to come out anyway but they're up out of the way and then I just put this one on loose so now I can turn the crankshaft uh, fully 360 and uh, I'll, I'll have to do that to get at these see right here there's uh, most likely three of those might be four but I've jammed it here with the screwdriver in the teeth of the flywheel and I got this loose and out that comes and I'll roll it again to get the next one and then we're going to basically uh, just separate the transmission and the engine and I'm going to hang the engine on a stand. Okay, so I got that nut off. Turn this until I get to the next one. There it is. See right there. Okay, now I'm going to jam the teeth with a screwdriver here like that. And we'll get our socket on there. And we'll back that guy off. There. Okay, next one. Okay, that should be it. Let's see if there's another one. Oh, there's another one. All right. Would be helpful if they were all out, I guess. There's the third one. And there's the fourth one. Okay, so we get those disconnected. All right, so all that's remaining to do is to take the bolts out that hold the transmission to the engine. But we, what we got to do is be careful when we separate them that the torque converter doesn't leave the transmission because you'll lose all the fluid in there. And I'm just putting that pan back on there just with four bolts in it. Just to protect all that stuff under there as I'm rolling this around on the ground. Okay, so I got everything out except this one last bolt here. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure I get the torque converter separated from here. I'm going to push it back towards the transmission. So I'm going to make sure I push on that as I as I remove it. I don't want I don't want the torque converter, like I say, to fall out of the transmission and you lose that seal back there. Okay. Up here. I might have another bolt in there somewhere. Let's see. None there. That looks good. It's on some dowel pins, of course, but yeah. That should come out. Get all the bolts, I think. Okay. Huh. Let's see if I can get it. Get it in there. Oh. I'll give it another little tap here. Okay. That's coming. Give it a little wiggle. Okay. Okay. Get that separated. Okay. Very good. Okay. 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to make up something, maybe go from a bolt here and just put a, a, a bar across here just to make sure that that torque converter stays in the transmission. We don't want it to pop out. And just another idea is a, just a piece of stiff wire. Anything to keep that from coming out. Okay, that works. Got it bolted through the back of the engine here. And that'll make it easier to work on. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this apart in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna be posting videos about what went wrong inside of there. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.